Hi, everybody. All right, so for the next more or less about six weeks, uh, you're basically just going to be watching me doing wiring the whole time. So we're, we're making the big push to finalize the G3X, and yeah, it's about... Yeah, it's about 18 more videos of it just to get the whole darn thing working. Totally worth it. Uh, here you can see me. I'm wiring up the last wire for the uh, GNX375 coax. I'm not 100% sure if this is the G. Is this is the GPS? If this is the transponder, or if this is the GPS, that doesn't matter. Uh, after that, what we're gonna do? So there's a uh, and this, the most of the work you'll see me doing in this video is there's a wire that goes from the audio panel over to the primary flight display that shows alerts. And what's happening is I made a wire for it, right? It's I think it's a three conductor. I, I think it's, a, it's either two or three conductor and it's shielded. And it goes between, like I said, audio panel and the flight display. For some reason... You know, I wired it to the audio panel, ran it to the flight, flight flight display, and then by some mysterious reason, I accidentally cut it like six inches short for no apparent reason whatsoever. So we're going to be replacing that, which stinks because to do that, that means I've got to get some uh, uh, all those pins out of the audio panel, and those are the high-density mail pins, which means you need the tiny little extraction tool. God, what a pain in the butt that thing is. Every time, every time you, you you attach it to a wire, it's like, please don't snap in half. It's all I keep thinking. Not unlike the barrels. The barrels are so easy. There's a Daniels extraction tool. The thing rocks. You know what? Here's a picture of one. You gotta have one. If you're making a G3X panel, you've gotta have that extractor. You just have to. Yes, it's pricey, but it is totally worth it. You'll never screw up any wires trying to get the uh, Trying to get the pins out. All right, so it's just me doing wiring for the rest of the video. We got some uh, Q and A here. What is that extension that you use in the last video on your drill? Good question. So I have a 90 degree. Uh, I have a 90 degree drill bit extension that I. It's actually Dewalt, and it's great because it's you know it's just hex chuck. Uh, you can put it into an impact wrench and put it into your drill works great. Uh, the only problem is it too is hex keyed, so you you know, getting number 40s or number 30s for it you can, but I mean they'll be, be expensive. Normally you just get everything that's you know one eighth and three sixteenths, you know Roman Catholic. Totally worth it. Uh, let's see another question. Engine update. Uh, yeah, so I texted uh, Lycon the other day, said hey you asked me a month ago to let you know get my progress and they said oh yeah you're still on the list everything's good list is moving text us next month so that's my update and that's the update for you too uh, let's see do I have any rant yes I do have a small rant and I may have already talked about this but it's happened again so <clears throat> to prospective members of the club that aren't even members yet that already are emailing in complaining about having their planes put down for maintenance uh fuck you if 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 you're complaining now you're really not going to like aviation very long look folks we all anyone that's in aviation we all know this maintenance sucks all right if you see something that's broken you have to fix it that's just the way it is and i run a fleet of 40 year old classic i mean technically they're classics Right. Imagine having a, a club that that had like six cars from 1979 that were kept in great condition all the time, and then one of them went down. I really wanted to drive that LTD. Well, sorry. That's just the way it is. So look, uh, they're new, so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. But they weren't even members yet, and they're complaining. That's just that doesn't bode well for our interactions in the future. You know what I mean? Alright, so now that that wire's replaced, we're going to work on re-soldering this LED. So I have this LED strip, which is one of the ones that goes up underneath the foot wells. Unfortunately, one of the wires was bad, so I have to re-solder it all back on. Pain, but totally worth it. Alright, in the next video, more wiring. I know you're surprised. Uh, have a happy Monday.
whatever that means. Uh, thanks for joining me, and see you soon.